all used to the iOS versus Android blood feud with passionate opinions on both sides about the superior mobile platform. Yes, there are others, Windows, Blackberry, Symbian, Nokia S40, even Firefox OS. But iOS and Android make up about 90% of the market share. But what if there were another path? a third way, a fresh original alternative for your mobile tapping, swiping, and texting needs. Well, there could be, because now Ubuntu is throwing their hat in the ring. For anyone not that familiar, Ubuntu is a free and open source OS based on Linux and named after the South African philosophy of humanity to others. Thanks, Wikipedia. As such, Linux variants are popular for their open source values and ease of use. And if you're interested, check out Nixie Pixel's channel, Nixie Does Linux, for more on that. Thus far, it's been available on PCs and televisions, but now they've announced a full range of products for your phone, including Ubuntu for Android, which is built around the Android system, and will let those users run the new OS on their phones and on their desktop when docked. This version of Ubuntu for Android will launch in 2013, and we'll find out more at CES next week. In 2014, they'll launch devices running the software natively. As for the OS itself, the creator, Canonical, wants to make Ubuntu for the phone easily usable with one hand, with icons arranged on the sides and a focus on multitasking, and an interface that reflects the user and what they need intuitively and without a lot of manual tinkering. The demo video is certainly very thorough and makes a good case for why Ubuntu for the phone is new, different, and potentially attractive to developers. But is there room for another OS out there? I asked some of you guys on my Facebook. Thomas writes, competition always brings better products. Addy is more skeptical, saying that Ubuntu has a lot of catching up to do without the built-in portfolio of apps. Meanwhile, Clay writes, if I can figure out how to hack my iPhone to run it, then I think we're in business. And if you do figure that out, let me know. What do you guys think? Is the mobile OS field already too crowded, or is there potential here? Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Annie for TFN.